Alrighty, check it out. So I brought in something that kind of looked like yours in that it's a black and white uh, picture, a raster image that has lots of white space all the way around it. So like we talked about, um, yeah, if you try and run that on your, your rotary or whatever, it's going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth through all this white space for really no purpose. So this is a nice little cheat that you can do, and it's really easy. If you right click it, you say trace image. Now, all the pink lines that you see here, that is where it thinks it needs to be making a line. So you can go ahead and you can zoom in. You see how my little pink line's coming in along here? It's trying to curve things out. Um, if it's not quite the way you want it, you know, you can do the threshold here to kind of increase or decrease um, and see where things going. You can also click the, doo -doo 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 -doo, where is it? Fade image. So what that does is fade the image out so you can see the pink lines more clearly. So you can see it's not exactly perfect. You know, see how it's all jagged right here um, in the original image, but the lines make it nice and smooth. Um, so that actually might help in a lot of the circumstances that when you're working with you know, not so great art. Uh, but once you're really satisfied with it, uh, you just click OK. And it doesn't look like anything happened, but sure enough, look at that. It did. So if you want to see what happens if I fill this, I can make sure go over here to cuts, make sure that that layer is on the fill. And I re right click, do preview, and that is what my resulting image is going to look like. All the black is where the laser is going to be. Everything that's red, that's actually just a travel move. So now if you look at it, let's see if we can scoot this guy over. See all this? This is all gone. So it immediately is going to start right here at the tip top of his head or right here at this black area at the bottom. It's going to skip all that white stuff that was kind of hanging out there and just be doing the travel back and forth for the image. Now, we do notice that it is going over the edges. That's normal. Um, the reason is, at least on mine, that's your overscanning. That says, which you should have on at about 5%, what that says is when you get to the end of the line that you're going to make let's do our preview again when you get to this get to here see it would be turning off right here at this point instead of immediately then leaving the laser on going up one line and going across it says overshoot that line turn off while you're there then go up and come back what that does is it seems really weird but there's a very 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 small moment of time where that one little space at the end of the line is essentially going to get twice the amount of time of lasering that's supposed to so it crisps your edges up uh, um, and so they look yucky anyhow that my friend is how you do that hope this helps